discussing kind of what your goals are with each ship, or at least what my goals are, and maybe that will help other people who are either learning hard mode no pause or just learning the game to get better with each ship. So let me fade out the music here. It also give me something, some goal to do with each of our runs. So for me, it would just be normal since you know the ships already. Yeah, but um, I thought it might be interesting to discuss different strategies you could do with the different ships um, because I sometimes will get bogged down by doing the same thing with each ship, ship every time and um, like Britnoff and other folks have been telling me their sh different strategies. So I uh, thought it might be fun to, uh, to kind of choose different ships. Well, I want to go through all the ships eventually, but maybe just as we go through each ship, just kind of do a discussion before we start the run and then do a run, win or lose, until we get the win, uh, kind of using the strategy with, strategies we've discussed. So probably it'd be better to start with uh, an easier ship. I mean, if I want to go super easy, we go Crystal B and say the strategy is we board there, board them and kill them <laughs> because this ship is super OP. But uh, I kind of want to do one of the more beginner ships to start off, like maybe Fed A or NGA or something. Zoltan A would be a good one. It's a super strong ship, too. But, um... It's also... The other reason I do this is a lot of people who watch on YouTube, I think, are watching to learn the game as well. So, this would be kind of a good series on, you know, kind of a how-to-play or how-to-win with certain ships kind of thing. That's true. I did want an easy one. Well, let's start with Zoltan A. I, don't, I feel like we haven't even played the Zoltan A since uh, we've restarted playing. I don't think I've randomed it yet. So let's start with the Zoltan A. Now this ship is, uh, all right, everybody put your glasses on. It's time to learn. This ship is one of the strong ships in the game because Halberd Beam is one of the best weapons in the game. The reason Halberd Beam is so good is uh, its power to damage ratio is like super uh, efficient. And uh, it's like the Pike Beam. Pike Beam is less power, but is less damage and not fast enough in charge time to really be that much better. Halberd Beam can pierce one shield because of its two damage, so that makes it really good. And early game, it's amazing because in combination with the Leto, you can take out a shield, and then Halberd Beam can one-shot a lot of early game ships. Ship is almost broken. I don't know about broken, but it's um, starting with probably the best beam weapon. If you compare it to the Glaive Beam, Glaive Beam is stronger, but the Glaive Beam has about, a, I think it's an eight-second longer charge time, and also takes an extra power, so uh, this this is a more balanced weapon, I would say, than the Glade Beam. Glade Beam is probably better if you have, like, Pre-Igniter. The Halberd Beam is definitely more balanced, easier to get it online with in, con in conjunction with other weapons to get through shields. Pipe Beam is good. It is good. I feel like for one extra power, and I think it's only one extra second charge time, Halberd Beam is just way more efficient in dealing damage. Um, usually... Usually my goal with ships, I kind of have, uh, usually I have, this is like my goal with pretty much every ship. Get second shield and then in, uh, improve your weapons. This ship, however, starts with Zoltan shield. So getting an extra dodge can be helpful uh, early on. And getting both these weapons online can be really good. So instead of immediately going for second shield, since we have Zoltan shield to help us with our defense, I will probably get a dodge... Uh, and then um, upgrade our weapons before we upgrade to second shield. That's probably going to be our goal. Things can always change if you find some other weapon, like if I find a flak or a small bomb. I might swap out the small, the Leto for small bomb. I prefer small bomb over Leto because Leto only does one damage and can be shot down by defense drones. Small bomb, that's one reason why I like bombs better than missiles. They cannot be shot by, down by defense drones. So for this ship... Uh, one challenge of the ship is you you have a Zoltan on piloting, which is always annoying because it's basically wasted power. Once you get one free crew member, you move this guy to shields, and that will help a lot because that'll just give you one extra free power. So, you focus on weapons, not dodge. But it really depends on the things I get or don't get. Yeah, well, I always like to get one dodge because having one engine... I don't know if there's a lot of uh, events that hurt you in that, but... Having one engine means it's slower to run away, and missile you're just never going to dodge a missile. Because you have, what, 5% dodge, maybe 10 with your guys on piloting and engines. Just getting one extra power and engines can help a lot. Also, it gives you one free power to 
play with. I never like having one engines because engines are often my buffer power storage. If I have three powered engines, that means if I have a fight, I can move a guy over into the heel bay and take power out of engines into the heel bay to to um, kind of have flexible flexibility and power. This ship is a little different in that regard because you have Zoltans because wherever they move is going to have power, but I never like having just a single engine. Um, let me think. Is there anything else? Um, after you get your weapon upgrade, then you just start getting defense and weapon upgrades. That's kind of... Or systems. Getting uh, getting missile defense. I kind of wish I had a checklist here. I don't know if maybe I can, on a YouTube video, create a checklist. I've never been good at editing all that stuff. But if I had a checklist, it'd be one for this ship. Get engine one extra engine two upgrade weapons once three get shields upgraded four system slash missile defense and then from there it's just i kind of go back and forth between uh offense and defensive upgrades so what's up kenny I'm doing an educational stream <laughs> it's your favorite so with all that said this ship is super strong so this should be one of the easier ships to get a win on uh again we're doing hard mode no pause so let's go for it Let's see if we can use our our uh, strategies to get a win. Early game, I usually won't use Alito unless... Actually, unless they have two shields, which... Sector 1, I don't think it's possible to have two shields on an enemy in Sector 1. I know it's possible in Sector 2, but I don't think it's possible in Sector 1 to have two shields. So We are... Uh, you can pretty much just always use Halberd Beam. Uh, let's see... Since this guy's got drone control, heavy laser, and missile, he's gonna get through Zeltan Shield pretty darn fast, especially if this is an offensive drone. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the bribe. Probably with these educational streams, I'll, I'll also give the reasoning behind a lot of my choices too. So we're gonna just take a bribe since it's free stuff. First engine power is 10. I'm probably gonna wait till we get 30 scraps so we can put the power in with there, uh, put the power in as well as the system upgrade. All right. All right. Uh, we always help here, because even if this fails, we sometimes get scrap, and if we take damage for scrap, it's always worth it, usually. Five free hull damage. <laughs> then they immediately prove me wrong. Wasn't worth five free hull damage. But five free hull damage early is not that bad. As long as I'm in the green, I'm okay on health. But it's hard mode, so, you know, five free hull damage. Thanks, game. Appreciate that five free hole damage. Cheers will be real helpful for newcomers or people switching to heart. Exactly. That's kind of why I wanted to do it. All right, a shieldless ship. Our favorite. Always try to hit the weapons early. The earlier you can hit your weapons with your beam, the quicker you get them offline. This guy won't be able to get through our shields before. Oof, he almost got there. There you go. One shot, our first ship. And we even got a double reward. Beautiful. All right, that gives us just enough to get our first engine power. Now I feel a lot better because we have a smaller 20% uh, dodge is so much better than 15, I feel like. I don't know if it really is that much better. But now that we got that, it gives me a little bit of power to play with. And next, I want to go for weapons. So 55 scrap would be one power in weapons, one power in reactor. So... You are not a mod here. What's up, Icarus? Says, Hello, not a mod. <laughs> Neither is Kenny. So, we have actual not mods here today. It's amazing. <laughs> Still not sure how you unmodded yourself. Okay, reject their offer that we can't take. All right, here's another tip for using beam weapons. If you can pierce their shields with their beam weapons, make sure you hit their shields with your first shot. Because that often will take their shield down, and you'll do more damage with the rest of the shot. That's very useful in Stealth B2, starting with Glade Beam. Didn't work here because he had a value point in shields, but if we get another shot off, um, it'll be good. Feels Kenny, man. <laughs> well, they got an NG over there repairing, I think, with how fast that was repaired. Okay. Well, at least we're keeping their missile offline, which is good. Yes, Icarus has figured out how to unmod themselves. 
which didn't even know that was possible. All right, cool. So we're looking for 55 scrap for the weapons, and after that we'll work towards shields. Oh, FTL salt today. Probably Pie Boy UK. I'm hoping with my trying to explain stuff, I won't get so mad. But I'll probably still get mad. Um, reactor for five missiles? Yeah, that's a great deal right there. That actually saves us 20 scrap for uh, the for when we upgrade our weapons. So we just need the 35 and we'll have the Lido online, which will be great. So I want to get here in five. No, I want to get here in... Four, two, three, four, okay. You didn't get paid enough for your mod abilities. <laughs> for your required work. Uh, what's up, Shogi? 95% dodge equals 100% hits and fires. That sounds about right. Alright, double heavy laser. I mean, he's going to get through our Zoltan shield real fast. So we're going to hope he doesn't have value point in shields. Which would mean we'd do two damage to their shield, uh, weapons, which would take both those offline. So... Whew. Zoltan Shield gives you a lot of extra time, though. Which is one reason why Zoltan ships are all really strong. Okay. How are y'all doing today? I hope y'all are having a great Thursday. Um, usually when they offer a deal, it's not as much scrap. So, uh, unless you just need the fuel or the drone parts or whatever they're offering, almost never accept surrenders. Also, it's more fun to be the pirate bad guy. So, we've got to be the irate pirate. Because if he gives us 14 scrap, we can get this Lido online. Doing great, actually. Don't know why. Probably just slept well. Yes. Oh, one scrap shy. One scrap short. Got to write these things down. That's right. Learn from the master. <laughs> One, two, three, four. The master of salt. That's me. One, two, three. Can I get all those? Looks like I can. You're calling subset games. To whine or to tell them that I'm the, the greatest tutor of FTL of all time? All right. Uh, we're going to investigate. This is usually trying to get a free crew member. But you have a chance. If you bring this guy back to your ship, you have a chance of losing a crew. So I usually don't risk this. I would love to get a free crew, but it's not worth losing a crew, because that would also be losing a power, so. Uh, Slugman, I think, is the blue option for that event, so. Madman's bad. Mad bad wants to kill your man. Your your green power mans. Shogi, this, uh, this series is for you, since you hate FTL. I'm going to teach you how to play this game that you're never going to play better. <laughs> kind of like Renus, who only watches, never plays, but knows games better than a lot of people who actually play the game. Uh, Advanced Med Bay and Clone Bay also give you blue option there. Yeah, that sounds right, because you save them before they die or whatever. Nice. No value point in shields mean we kill this guy before he gets out. Actually, not a joke. Giant alien spiders are not a joke. They are not a joke. Clone Bay or, um, what was I think it's Bordig drone for the, or anti personnel drone for the blue option there. Alright, that lets us get weapon online. Now, two shield ships will be easier to deal with. One shield ships, if they have really strong offense, will probably Lido their shield room as well to make the fight end quicker. What option should I choose in that event with the Mantis and NGU where a Mantis is on your ship and the NGUs are looking for it? Desert Eagle, I almost always side with the Mantis. Because if you side with the Mantis, you have a chance for either taking damage or a free Mantis. If you side with the NG, the Mantis can go berserk and kill your crew. If you have Clone Bay, I think you're protected from losing crew. But siding with the NG has a chance of you losing crew. So, you refuse to get a passing grade in your class, Professor Rand. I'll take the incomplete. <laughs> it's not incomplete. You fail. You fail. Uh, we always explore, even though this can be fire free hull damage. It is nothing, so it's fine. Zoltan or Zoltan? Well, uh, I'm going to go down this way so we have more green options. Almost always take more green options. Because that's more chances for stores. And usually easier sectors. You fail! Good day, sir! <laughs> you get nothing! Oh, free stuff. You also get more free stuff in green uh, sectors. So, 
Next, I'm gonna save up for second shield unless we get something at the store that's like missile defense. So, I doubt I'm gonna scrap for missile defense. It's only 50 scrap for uh, shield upgrade, although we do need power, so usually like 70 scrap, so. All right, this guy's weak, so we don't have to use a missile. We can just slowly kill him. Level two Zoltan, time to take a little minute to kill, uh, take like a minute to kill enemy ships. Level two Zoltan, what? What was that, what do you mean? Good strat, get free stuff. That's the best strat. <laughs> I try to use that strat every time. For some reason, it doesn't always work. I don't know why. That's the other reason I like to take one extra energy in uh, engines, because if I get level two shields plus one power, then I can have my shields and my engines online. Sector two. Oh, oh, you're saying sector two. Uh, Zoltan Sector. Okay. Well, we didn't have a choice. They were both... They were both that, so... I don't know what you're making fun of me for. Don't make fun of me. Alright, um... It only has a single missile. I'm gonna guess it's a two damage missile, but that still means three shots to get through Zoltan's shield. Boarding can be tough to deal with here. Hey, Chris, thank you for the host. I appreciate it, my friend. This crew can have a hard time dealing with uh, Mantis Borders, but we shouldn't have to deal with it because of our Zoltan Shield. You will make fun of me. I know. I know, Icarus. Megalol is your favorite uh, emote. FIFA World Cup has started. Oh. Well, if I liked soccer, I would watch it. I, I'm going to say soccer, even though I know you people all call it fo football. I will not be watching soccer. You hate foosball. <laughs> soccer, yawn. I, I know soccer's huge, like, everywhere in the world except the U.S. I, I'll, and there are even some people in the U.S. who love it, but... The game always looks really boring when I watch it. And I watch baseball and can enjoy it. But I played baseball, so I guess playing a game can make you uh, appreciate it more. Alright, do I actually go to the store? Um... 54 scrap. The only reason I might want to go there is for long range scanners, which can be really good over the course of a run. Otherwise, there's probably not anything else we can get there. We wouldn't be able to get a flak. Even if I sold my missile, I think it's only 10 scrap, so well, we'll still check for long range scanners. You're weird. Why, thank you, Recursus. I'm proud to be weird. Alright, nothing we want here. I could buy a couple fuel or something, but I'm just gonna. I'm gonna buy the second shield now. I need 20 scrap for the power. Let's get it, just in case we fight a guy with a bunch of lasers. We can uh, remove power from O2 and engines to get it online. Can you explain to some people why you leave your HP slightly below max? Absolutely, Pyboy UK. My normal um, strategy for health is as long as I'm missing only 10 or less, I don't repair. Reason for that being there are many events that you get a free repair. And the most efficient health is a resource. It's just another resource like scrap or missiles or fuel or whatever. And to be efficient with my resources, I 10 is kind of the place where I feel safe from dying from one enemy, but also that if I get a free repair, it's not wasted. Because any scrap I'm spending on repairs, I'm not spending on upgrades, weapons, etc. So that is, that is why I do that. news when you say that's because the is, are you saying that's because soccer is boring? <laughs> I'm sure many people here would beg to differ. Ooh, good doge. So big in Germany that if I say I don't like it, you get strange looks. People are like, really? Are you sick? What the hell is wrong with you? That's like football in the U.S. I, well, American football, I should say. <laughs> like how Hand Egg Twitch emote is named football. Hand Egg. You don't really need to be 100% HP ever. Better just keep it a bit below since some random event can award those repairs. Yeah, that's exactly right, uh, Skitzkaraya. That's why I do it. Okay, this fight. If he's got an offensive drone, I'm going to want to get through his shields quickly. So this will probably be the first time I lead over his shields. Although he probably has defensive drone since it's an NG ship. Yeah, all right. Never mind. No reason to shoot a missile because it'll be wasted. And I, I'll be able to have two shields so I can... Uh, not worry about hitting his weapons. Once he gets through our Zoltan shield, he'll be dead. 
Oh, nice. We even got to dodge. We even dodged him. <laughs> the pair is like super fast. Wow, those doges though. Another reason why I like to have level 2 dodge. Level 2 dodge, that 5% dodge can be huge. You just want to hear the pro FTL rant explain. <laughs> you, you're like that person in class is like, Teacher, can you tell us all why? And you're asking even though you know the answer to the question already. So, it's cool. I understand. I understand. Uh, I want to get power, but I also would not mind having long range scanners. So we're going to go here, store, and if there's long, no long range scanners, we'll probably get level 2 piloting because there's some blue options that you can get from uh, the nebula with level 2 piloting. So, eat the egg. So is that called hand egg? No, it's called football, even though even though it's a hand egg for you people. All right, this guy's ship is terrible, so I can just slowly kill him. After he gets through my Zoltan shield, I'll put extra energy into shields. Makes you angry that America football they American football they don't use a ball and mainly use their hands. <laughs> hey, they kick they kick the ball at the beginning of each um, of each uh, series of plays. They punt it and go for um, whatchamacallits. Um, field goals and stuff. No, it's teacher, I brought you an apple today. <laughs> Thanks, Pie Boy UK. You're the best teacher's pet ever. Hey, what's up, Steel Worm? Sell the Zoltan Shield. That's the first thing you say. Here's a good strategy for the Zoltan ship. Don't sell the Zoltan Shield. Single, probably best defensive uh, uh, augment in the game. Don't do that. You'd rather watch tennis or fencing? Penis? What the hell is penis? <laughs> is that... You, you like to talk about porn music all the time. Does that have to do with gay porn? That would be my guess. Fencing and gay porn combo? That would be my guess. Okay, uh, drone control... Okay, I can't afford anything. So what we're going to do is... I'm actually going to get level 2 piloting instead of power here. Because of... I actually want to get both. Actually, I can get both. We're going to get power and piloting. Power will help us in the nebula. But also level 2 piloting gives us possible blue options for the um, ion storm event. Ski jumping is the best by slug. I'm not I'm not buying crew. I usually don't buy crew early either. Okay, great. Oh great. Fire beam drone to get through my Zoltan shield. Alright. Alright, one shield should be enough here. Open some things that the fire beam actually gets through. There we go. Now we're fine. There should be a nightmare mode in this game. Let's so play FTL again, but after beating the game hard, the reward for finishing the game once again isn't really that appealing to you. Well, nightmare mode, I would say, would be bad. no pause hard mode. So that's why I play no pause hard mode because it's the uh, next evolution of the challenge, I guess. What's up, Spectre? My week's been pretty good so far. I like to watch people fly spaceships and then die due to people destroying O2 and Zoltan's ship. <laughs> you like to watch that? Amazing. Games are total conver conversions, but you don't think there are any. I don't know what a total conversion would be. I might call Captain Edition. There you go. If you want real hell mode, Captain Edition would be it too. All right, let's get fuel supply because we don't really care about missiles. Okay, let's get our Lido online. This is another reason why Zoltan Shield is so amazing. When you don't have power for shields. Zoltan shield is basically free shield. Oh, wow, we actually got a breach from that. Awesome. Leto breach. <laughs> Leto's the new best missile. I never knew. Captain Edition is a bit too harsh for you. Yeah. Captain Edition is like super punishing. It's like if you think FTL hard mode's bad, this like has events where you know, you can have Four man mantis boarding over and over again or something. 
Yeah, get ready to die a lot. Fantasy for MB as a total conversion. Oh, uh, for Mountain Blade, okay. <laughs> that's that's hard mode. Thanks, Renus. All right, well, we've got two fights here. Um, yeah, we got one more jump here. Makes the game look entirely different. Okay. Could get one more power. I think I want to save up scrap to get an offensive upgrade now. Now they got two shields. I want to get either a system upgrade, like hacking, defense drone, or cloaking, or get an offensive upgrade. That's my next goal. Uh, NG homeworlds. Pretty much always like to go to NG sectors because you can get a lot of free stuff there. Sadly, I don't have an NG for blue options here. Yeah, Fantas, uh, Fantasy Colorado, I think is what it's called. I don't know if that's done. I should check it out because the guy who was working on it came to our stream when we were playing it a lot. I don't know if it's finished, though. It seemed like one of those things that might never actually be finished. I don't know. All right, we're going to aid the civilian ship, even though this guy's got really good weapons. We're definitely going to lead out his shields here and hope he doesn't have two shields and a value point. I'll wait to fire till right before my halber beam's done. Just to make sure he can't repair it. Oh, he has value point and shields. What? Our first two shield ship is two shields plus a value point. Oh, but it's burning. Okay, that's good. Uh, well, okay. Dodging each other's missiles. Nice. Oof, okay. That was a little scary. Double rewards? Nice. Double rewards. It'll never be finished. Yeah. Okay. So we're looking for a store. We're going to save our scrap for a store right now. I could use an extra power, but a uh, weapon upgrade or something would be even more useful. Because if I got flak online, we'd have a weapon system that's almost boss ready. Flak tubeless Albert Beam is a boss killable system. Slightly slow, but still very good. Oh my god, this weapon system is insane. Very fast firing weapons, suppressive fire. This is going to be a rough fight. We're going to hit his. I'm going to hit his weapons actually with my first missile shot here. So if I can get one of those guys offline. And the flak one is the best one to get offline. Nice. Um. I do need fuel, but I'd rather have more scrap than that, so we're not going to take that deal. What am I doing on missiles? Uh, I'm doing fine on missiles, so I don't have to worry about conserving too much there. Alright, come in and die, human. Die by criminy. Criminitly, nutsy. Okay, you're healed. We're gonna get everything back to as full as we can before we leave this place. There we go. Uh, missile always up. There's a new mod that rebuilds Fantasy of Colorado mods called Fantasy 2018. That's the one we played, I think. The Evolution of 2014. Or maybe we played the 2014 one, I don't remember. But we played one that was a full rebuild, so... Oh my god, a free glaive beam. Wow. Wow, okay. Now we can actually... We, I was talking about glaive beam versus halberd beam. We can actually compare it right now. So, glaive beam, super strong. The main issue with glaive beam, 25 second charge time. It's just... I talked about halberd beam being slow. This thing is... What? It's not twice the charge time, but it's like 1.5 the tar charge time or something for one extra damage. It's just too expensive. Unless you have a pre-igniter, Glade Beam is usually, I would say, just worse than the Halberd Beam. It sells great, though, so selling this thing will be nice. Wow, we almost got stuck on this side of the map here. Pre-igniter Glade Beam is great if you have something to break shields. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And early game, Glade Beam is just 
insane as long as you have defenses because you can one-shot pretty much every ship. Looking for less competent captain. All right, we'll do our best. We can't hit that quest. Okay. So now we have a decision to make. If we want to try to use the glaive beam, probably we'd rather get some sort of laser, get through shield, use with the halberd beam because it'll just fire so much faster. Um, can I help? This is you need a, an NG for a blue option here. Yeah, that was the that's the NG uh, racial quest right there, I believe. Homeworld's quest. Okay, ion bomb, charge ion. Well, our weapon choices aren't amazing here. Flagship insta kill coming. Well, if I got hacking plus glaive beam, halberd beam, that would be not a one shot. Two glaive beams is halberd beam plus glaive beam would almost be a one shot. Ion bomb plus glaive beam. Yeah, the problem is if you miss with your ion bomb, you got to wait another 22 seconds to try again. So, um, although ion bomb is very good for one power, taking out eight shields isn't. Uh, is that right? Ion damage, yeah, can take out, uh, no, it's two shields? I can't remember. I don't hardly ever use Ion Bomb. Man, no hacking, no defensive thing. Um, it does eight Zoltan Shield damage, that's what I was thinking. Eight Zoltan Shield damage. Your modded Ion Missile takes out four shields, nice. I'm thinking we'll just sell the Glaive Beam, as awesome as it is. I don't really need to sell it yet, because what if we got a pre-igniter? If we found a pre-igniter. I'm just going to buy all the fuel. I'm going to buy one power. We're going to check out if there's another store that's got something else good. See, we need to be here in five. One, two, three, four, five. It's a four-power weapon that consumes two missiles. Hey, a free hull repair drone. So if, so far, we've gotten a free glade beam and a free hull repair drone. Wow. Hopefully, I... If I can get drone drone control now, it's basically GG because whole repair means we shouldn't die. All right, there it is. Drone control with defense drone. All right. As much as I love hacking, this whole repair drone. Uh, my offense is bad, though. Without hacking, my offense is pretty bad. I might hold off on getting the drone control. Hello, <laughs> this subset games. <laughs> Ranch cheating. Um, I'm gonna sell the glaive beam, and I think I'm gonna get hacking before the drone control because my biggest fear is not having enough offense to kill my enemies. So we're gonna hold on to the whole repair. We'll get drone control later, hopefully with the defense drone again. And uh, level one, we can use on piloting, so they can't dodge my Lido missiles. So. <laughs> this is the crusty crap. All right. Um, he's got two shields, so we are going to use hacking here. We're going to hack his piling so we can't dodge my Lido. Nice. No value point in shields. I mean, we one shot his shields, or two shot, I guess. Okay, I'm going to hit his weapons one more time since he... Well, since I, we're, since he got the resultant shield, I was hoping I wouldn't take another missile. No surrender. Damn. All right. Well, we've been taking very little damage because this ship is just so strong early game defensively. Uh, What is this, Desert Eagle? <laughs> is this the crusty crab? No, this is Patrick. <laughs> is this the crusty crab? No, this is Patrick. <laughs> amazing, amazing. I don't know if I just missed a punchline at the end there, but <laughs> good reference, man. Okay, uh, burst laser two plus mini beam. We're gonna hack his piloting again. Oh, he's got a defense two drone. I okay. The only way we get through here is if we hack and take this thing offline and hit his shields, and he doesn't have value point. Okay, 
That was our only way to get through his shields right there, I think. Unless he just missed our shot. So, that's why we did that. And we're gonna do it again. Oh, wait, I don't have my hacking up. Okay, we can do this, though. Nope, oh, I missed one damage. Nope, we got it. You missed SpongeBob walking up to Patrick saying, Patrick, that's the name of the restaurant. Oh. <laughs> Alright, my bad. I missed the end of the video. Um, okay, now we either upgrade hacking so that we can just not even have to use our missiles. Or we get, um, let's go ahead and do that and a power. Now we can decide if we hack shields or piloting, depending on the ship. Hey, what's up, Lemons? How are you doing? Okay. Will someone sell to me? There's going to be a store since I just spent my scrap. Oh, okay. There's not. That's good. Oh, double drones. Okay. Well, he actually can't get through my shield, so this is fine. This is fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Double beam drones and a basic laser. <laughs> that is five drone power and one weapon power. Okay, get some food. All right, Desert Eagle. I'll be here wishing I had food. Just kidding. I'll have I'll have a cookie when we win this run. This educational stream run. It'd be nice if you got shield training from uh, beam drones. We get shield training from combat drones. I wonder why you don't get shield training from beam drones. They're shooting your shields. I guess because you're not recharging your shields. That's what actually trains your guy in shields. I don't know. All right, pirate or NG? I really, really need crew now. Having only three crew and one of them being a Zoltan pilot is really bad. Pirate, you can get a lot of free crew. NG, you can get some free crew. I could also buy an NG at an NG store, probably. So I'm going to just go NG to keep it super safe. Yeah, because they don't lower their shields, I guess, the reason you don't get training. And they get training. They learn how to use shields better when they recharge the shields or something. I don't know. Pirate? You want me to go pirate? My my main issue with doing pirates is... Um, well, I'm glad I got three shields. Or level two hacking for the three shields. Is that... Um, if they board me when I have Zultans, I'm just going to have terrible anti-boarding. And these guys are going to board me, so... I don't know if the Halberd Beam fires before the Pulsar goes off. Oh, thank God my weapon stayed online. There we go. Killed their boarding. Uh, get your weapons again. Oh, okay, it's only single NG. All right. Uh, nope. There we go. Kill this guy. Oh, no, the single NG party party. What do we do? Man, if that was double Mantis, we would actually be in big trouble here. Thankfully, no double Mantis boarding party. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, a child fighting an invalid or something. It's a very slow, slow fight. Or a, a little cute cuddly puppy fighting against a little cute cuddly kitten. They're just doing zero damage to each other. All right, so... Oh, my piloting was offline. It's like, why can't I leave? <laughs> All right, we'll go this way looking for stores and stuff over here. But the NG died. Okay, well, even in a fight of attrition like that, eventually somebody will die. Um, now I want to be conservative about using drone parts and missiles as, as I need to. I'm going to guess he has a value point in his shield, so I'm going to go ahead and hack his shields. I'm probably going to hack his shields every time, honestly. Because even though I have more missiles, the Leto is such a terrible missile. 
Doesn't guarantee you get one shield power down when you hit their shields. And I actually could have fired that slightly faster. Oh, took out my hacking. All right, Mantis board. Oh, oh, almost fired that one. I shouldn't have. Oh, he's got value point. No, get out. Crap. Okay. Uh, my hacking's offline. He's got an NG repair to shields. All right, we're killing him with a halberd beam. This is where halberd beam sucks. When they have an NG repair in their shields, and they took out my hacking. Okay, get over here, dude. Okay, don't die. Hey, a human. I'm actually... Really glad to see you, sir. Because that gives me an extra power. Okay, don't die. Oh my god. This one man is going to kill three freaking Zoltans. That's how crappy Zoltans are to deal with anti-borders. The one time I'm happy to see human. When I have three Zoltans, and I'm using one to pilot the frickin' ship. <laughs> okay. Sadly, though, our pilot is really well trained, but... You are now in shields, you are now in piloting. That gives us an extra power. Excuse me. Okay. So I'd like to get an extra dodge, but I would really want to get... Missile defense. Or a weapon upgrade. This Leto is now... Quite... Quite worthless. Not completely worthless, but... Much weaker than I'd like to have uh, support for Halberd Beam right now. Triple defensive drones. Good. Oh, crap. I might have done that too early. I did do it too early. Alright, we got the full damage on the shields, though. And that should keep him from running. Sad thing is, this is weapons are really good. Uh, he's got to repair drones. I have to wait for hacking to be back up because he's going to have his shields up before. Don't hit my weapons. Okay. Alright. Or my hacking. Got him. Okay. Doop -doop -doop. Get a breach missile. That's <laughs> see ships like that. Breach missile is useless. Defense drone just gonna shoot it down, man. Hey, what's up, Abel Adel? Get a whole missile. Get a breach missile. You you guys are not. Yeah, you're, you're not rooting for the right stuff. Flak. We want flak. I would even take a flak too in this situation. Halberd beam is one of the few times when I will. Be glad to find a flak too, because of the just the timing on uh, the charge time on it. Explore five free hole damage and a f double fire. Okay. All right, now we're getting into a point where we're a little scared about a hel our health, because we're just getting events that give us stupid free damage. Flak can be shot down by triple defense drone too. Well, that wasn't triple defense drone. That was one defense drone and two anti-combat drones. So the anti-combat drones would not have shot it down. Don't 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 lie to the good people, Icarusis. Don't lie. Alright, store. Although they would probably body block, so it's effectively the same thing. Okay. Vulcan, eh? Vulcan, eh? Um, I am gonna use a missile here. If I can get their missile offline, that would be great. Um, shoot, they're piloting. Nice. You never lie. By never, do you mean always? Uh, six missiles? Nope. Got him. All right, well, we got a store. We got double stores. Okay. So we're looking for a flak or defense drone 
uh, drone control. Because we still have our whole repair drone, too. Gotta remember that, but drone parts is gonna be an issue. There's drone control. Burst laser one. <laughs> There's the whole missile. Um... Man, I might need to go with Burst Laser 1. Let's check this other store before we commit, though. You called it. You called the whole missile. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Get out of here. That thing. Um... I might want to buy a couple drone parts here. What's great also about the flak is against two shield ships, we can save a drone part. Carry you're calling subset games again? Do I want to sell the whole repair drone? What sector are we in? We're in sector four. No, my, my defenses are a little light, but now that we have this, we have plenty of offense for pretty much the rest of the run. I need to focus on getting my defenses up now, so I want to get dodge next. So our resultant shield stays alive longer and uh, defense drone. So, five jumps. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Call it so sick. Stop caring, Rand. All right, here's that event that Desert Eagle asked about. Uh, if you agree to offer up the Mantis, he could kill one of your crew. So, we always thought with Fugitive fight the engine ship. Hope we don't get five free hull damage. Yes! Free Mantis crew, baby. Go get on door, sir. Okay. Defense two drones, all day or day. Good dodges so far. Nice. Nice. Got the most important weapon offline there. We can fire that again because of the charge time. Oh, hey, we shot down the defense drone with our flak. That usually happens to, to my defense drone. Nice. Black just made our weapon system so much stronger. Use the doors. Doors OP. Um, subset will block me from playing FTL permanently because... Because I'm actually having a good run? That seems kind of... Uh, extreme. I'm going to hope I don't find another store. And even if we found another store, I wouldn't have had enough for drone control. So I'm going to do that. I might regret this, spending all my scrap, if this is a store. Doopa doopa. <laughs> Giant alien spiders, we never do this. This is again another chance to lose crew, unless we have clone bay or a blue option. So leave them alone. It's basically, do you want to go in and fight a bunch of mantis? Uh, no thanks. I'm, I'm good. Good. Investigate. Quest marker. Cool. I want to get level 2 sensors. Sometimes there's a quest that level 2 sensors give you a blue option to not miss out on something. And for the refueling platform, I usually ignore it because it's usually a trap. You either take damage, get a little bit of fuel, or get boarded. If you ignore, you often can get a fight. Alright, nothing there. But I usually, usually do not dock with the refueling platform unless you have... Well, actually, level 2 doors, I think, is blue option there, so... <laughs> I think I could have actually done that. <laughs> Whoops. I'm not used to having level 2 doors. And this ship starts with level 2 doors. I always forget that this ship starts with level 2 doors. Because, like, no ships start with level 2 doors. <laughs> Except this and, like, maybe one other. Okay. I might hack this guy with three shields and auto assaults dodge. And his weapon system, yep. Slug A has level 2 doors as well? Okay. This guy's offense is really good, so we gotta... Don't hit my weapons! Ugh, thank god. He tried to hit my weapons. I saw it. I saw ya. Nice. Mantis repair party, go! No! I unbomb in my weapons. I frickin' hate you, game. What's annoying is about that is that it's just it's gonna slow us down killing him, so he's gonna be able to repair here. Uh, super annoying. It's the most annoying thing he could have done with his one shot there. Slug C maybe has level two doors as well. 
Apparently slugs love their doors. Ow, that actually hit... What? That is some BS right there. The timing for this thing with a single laser to get through... Get two shots is bullshit right there. That was a BS beam drone shot right there. Oh, yeah, you die. That was BS. Because the beam drone's path was bam, bam, shooting like he went back and forth right there. Sometimes you get really bad luck with enemy drones getting multiple shots in a row, and that was super bad luck. If you get through with a single laser shot there. There's my salt. If you want to learn how to be salty, that's how. Just, just get really mad when RNG screws you. Uh, is there any reason to go to the store? 31 scrap is enough for long-range scanners. I might should just go and re repair a little bit, actually. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go and just repair, maybe buy a little fuel. Yeah, he's got what I want, but I can't get it. Cannot get it. All right. We're getting to the point where we could fall behind. Destroyed cargo ship with its cargo scattered nearby intact. Oh, this event I don't recognize. I If I don't have a chance to lose crew, it'd be worth me bringing aboard. But if I have a chance to lose crew, I wouldn't want to do this. Eight times Elton crew member of the dream. <laughs> Not really, because then one would be up piloting. Welcome back, Digital Eagle. Alright, I'm going to do this for science, and if I lose crew, I'm going to be sad. Appear to be filled with military weapons. Bam! Nice! Okay. That little extra sc scrap infusion was really nice. I brought it aboard, Icarus. Now you're going to be sad that it wasn't like eight... Um, eight man result in boarding. <laughs> I think there's a chance for a fight in being boarded. That's what I was thinking. I think there might be a fight... That event I don't get very often. But I don't think you can lose crew there. I could be wrong, though. Search for the ship. Oh, stasis pod. Now, this is the quest for unlocking the crystal ships. But since I've already have it unlocked, I almost never do it because it's such a random set of events to actually get it. So you always just take the free weapon and free scrap. Oh, ho! And it's a free heavy laser mark one. That is so good. All right. For this quest, I'm actually going to let level two sensors. That is awesome. We, I really wanted to get more defense online, but if I get that heavy laser, that'll be super helpful too. 12 mantis boarding. Yeah. There you go. Uh, dock, try We never send in our crew because you can lose crew on this one. I always dock and try to rush the survivors. Bam, because you can get free crew. Okay. That is an NG train and shields. Um, I'm just going to leave the Zoltan and shields. Finally got our NG for blue options, though. Okay. This could be a store, I think. So I'm going to not spend my scrap yet. Yeah, it's a really good weapon system. I, I'm going to get the heavy laser online next. Okay. Double offensive drones again. They're loving their drones, man. They're offensive drones. Just don't take out my weapons, please. Oh, good dodge is there. Nice. We are now safe. Beautiful. Beautiful dodges. I would love to get third shield. I might hold off on the heavy laser till I get third shield, actually. I don't want to neglect my defense too much. Can reach subset games on phone. Did you already call them, Destiny? <laughs> Woo, look at that. Holy crap. Free weapon. Now that was a great uh, fight right there. Let's go put the weapon train mantis on weapons. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my extra Zoltan and shield. So now with ions, we can't go below one shield uh, with ion weapons. How do we FTL? One, pretend to do an educational stream. Two, hack. Three, give up. <laughs> yeah, this has been a pretty good uh, 
rewards run so far. Um, seven drone parts. Um, thinking about getting the weapon, I think I just need to get third shield though. If I get heavy laser, that might keep me from having to use a drone part or two. Let me do this. Let me get the weapon first, but not get any power. I'm going to change the order of weapons so I can go one, two, three. This is in hopes of saving drone parts, because I'm planning on getting uh, drone control for that whole repair drone, and hopefully defense drone, so. If we can, if we can kill our enemies quicker than they can kill us, we'll be in good shape. Shoot first, ask questions later. That is the that's the peaceful Zoltan way. Nice. Beautiful. So beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. I think I hit his shields with this shot. Nope. It's the USA way. <laughs> USA. USA. Sir, should we send a peace envoy? No. Shoot them in the face. That's how I like to open my negotiations. All right, we already have an, almost enough for third shield right now. Um, one, two, three, four. How much power do we have? 11, so that means we'll have six in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ion storms could be bad, but we're gonna, we're gonna go, we're gonna explore this nebula for the extra jumps. Hey, free stuff with intruders on board, I'm down. Okay, you go there. Nice. Okay. You go in there. Go in there. Get our other mantis over here. All right. Whew. This is, this can be one of the times when you have the worst time in a, one of the times you can have the worst time, <laughs> I can't talk. One of the most difficult things about hard mode no pause is microwing borders. And so often losing crew in hard mode no pa pause is from getting boarded while doing fights, but with low health crew, like a bunch of Zoltans and NG, fights like that can be rough, so. Luckily, we're okay, but that can be scary. But we did get scrap, and that means third shield and one power. Backup battery would be really nice, yes. It would be very nice. America, Drat. America. Attempt to follow. I have level two sensors. Damn. Apparently, I needed the long-range scanners. I thought level two sensors would actually give you a blue option in that event. Explore? Oh, more free hole damage. Thanks, game. Thanks for the free hole damage. Well, that's our second free five hole damage. If we can get if we can get drone control, we'll be in fine shape health wise. Um, because we have hole repair drone, but we keep getting to fairly low health. This isn't critical, critical yet, but it's a little scary. Free fires and hull damage. Four times crystal dues boarding crew. Oh my god. I'm glad that I've never seen that event, Skitskaraya. That would be crazy. Uh, that's a terrible deal. <laughs> Alright, abandon or civilian. Oh man. But well, we could get four man Lanius boarding. Abandoned Sector 6 is really scary. The only thing scarier is Abandoned Sector 7, which could be possible here if I go civilian. Oh, man. Gosh, I have really good weapons. I have Zoltan Shield to protect from borders. Let's go Abandoned. Let's do it. Kenny, where are you? We're, we're doing your Abandoned Sector, sir. Okay. 
Time to listen to awesome music, at least. Explore the Ashford field. Please not free five hole damage. Okay, all right. Ship fight's fine. Um, it's a lot of lasers, and he's got boarding. We're going to hack the piloting. So he cannot dodge. Good damage there. Do, 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 do. No weapons. Whoa, that's a great deal. That's like a 60, 70 scrap deal or so. Whew. All right. Thank God that was a zero damage fight. So good. That's why it's sometimes it's better to have off more offense than defense. <laughs> He's got one health left. Sending his an asteroid field. Sadly, I think they have 100% dodge after the fight's over. So they can't... I'd love for them to die. Yeah, they had a rock plus mantis. They also had a Lanius over there. Hey! Level 2 piloting paying off. 50 free scrap. Mmm, delicious. This sector is not amazing, though. I can't get down here except through exit beacons. I hate I hate it when that happens. Seven, eight. Actually, it's not bad. I just don't go down to those jumps. Okay. Let's get a bunch of scrap for the store and hopefully not die. When they surrender and shoot still can hurt you. I know. Or shots, yeah. Um Lanius. I'm not I'm not selling fuel, that's for sure. I get a Lanius crew for 40 scrap. That would complete my crew, but that would mean I, I only have 53 scrap. What do you guys think? Is it worth getting a Lanius crew? It does give us some blue options. But I might miss out on a chance to get defense drone, or drone control. I do have the whole laser to sell. Let's do it. Fully trained shields, Lanius. Well, the main problem with that is... I want my Zultans in shields. Alright, well, we are maxed out on crew now. Okay. Alright, let's hope we can get some decent scrap for the store and get drone control. Truders on board. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah, let the mantis kill the crew. Do your thing. Eat some humans. Thanks for providing that wonderful snack. Only problem with the door location here is my guys are often going to run through... You know what? I might actually not want him on doors. I mean, it makes guys immediately try to get out of doors. I don't really like him on doors. What's my pilot training? He's almost fully trained. It's just my guys running through there. That's annoying. That's fine. Uh, I would take Elenius. It makes navigating and repairing easier when you have no O2. That's true. That's true. That's a good point. If uh, we get to a point we're afraid about being soft locked because of no O2... Lanius can help uh, fix that. Ran stream in the Mantis Nebulas. GG human time. <laughs> oh, we got double stores here. Don't actually want that. Unless the first store doesn't have the drone control, the next one does, maybe. Okay, that's a Flak 1 and a Vulcan. Uh, I'm debating if I want to use a drone part here. It has to be the translator, but you see yourself as a puny human. <laughs> What is Stoa? Why do you keep saying Stoa? I don't know what that means. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use one. I hate using the drone part. I'm really low on drone parts. Nice. Good damage. Oh, he didn't even hit our... Wow, we dodged a lot of shots that first volley. Holy crap. Yeah. 
Six missiles without six fuel, I would take that deal. He doesn't know what a Stoa is. I don't. Oh my god. A free defense two drone. So I've gotten free uh, glaive beam, free heavy laser, and all these things for free on this run today. Holy crap. Well, we got stuff to sell. All right, there's drone control, and there's backup battery. I know we're selling this. I know we're selling this. Only wish you should get in drone control. He doesn't have defense one drone. I prefer defense one over defense true. True. Defense two. But this does allow us to use our hull repair drone. Do I want to check the other store? Well, let's go ahead and buy it. We know we're buying it. Question is if I re if I sell the defense drone or not. I'm also going to get backup battery. Let me... Drone parts cost eight a piece. Let's hit the store. Probably just going to buy fuel here. I can still even buy Clone Bay if we get the scrap for it. That would be awesome if we could. Um, I'm actually going to buy repairs even though I have a whole repair drone. What would it cost to get? Okay, I'm going to get drone control up so that I can use the defense drone if needed. I'm going to repair the save drone parts. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to actually buy two drone parts there. Because we're using... We're, drone parts is kind of our resource that we are a little bit hurting on, sorry, aside from fuel. So, Okay, we are definitely hacking what here? Wow, this guy's got a flak. And two heavy laser ones. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and hack a shield. No boarding for you. Six fuel, 23 scrap. It's not a bad deal, but we're kicking his ass, so no surrender. And we also can't go below one shield from the Pulsar because of our awesome double Zoltans and shields. So let's keep his weapons <laughs> offline here. And, I mean, kill him. <laughs> oh, three fuel, 59 scrap. We chose wisely, man. Rand left his all, all his money at the Stoa. Oh, Stoa! Stoa, I got you. <laughs> now I know what Stoa means. Nice, right, get out of here. Be purged! <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? I need power now is what I need. So let's buy some power. Alright, we can back up battery. Our hacking. We got eight drone parts. Alright, we're looking... Pretty decent here. Long range beacon. What do we got? Repair five? No. All right. Zoltan or pirate? I'm maxed out on crew. Zoltan is actually probably scarier here because there are a lot of Zoltan ships with um, free boarding and really strong weapons. I think I might actually just go pirate here. Pirate might have more missiles, though. If there's a lot of rock pirate ships. But let's go pirate. I feel like I could get more rewards from the pirate. Never a double abandoned seven. Never. <laughs> oh, God. All right. All right. I want to get dodge. Uh, I have eight crews. If I lose crew, it's not a huge deal. Let's board and investigate. Mystified. Okay. Well, at least I didn't lose crew there. Four shield ship boarding. All right, and a Vulcan. All right, well, we'll be hacking your shield, sir. Now I gotta decide what I want for my last system if I want mind control or like uh, cloaking.
I actually like Mind Control better, but Cloaking's probably the smarter option. If I could even get the option to get those. What? Oh my god, he almost got out. How did he charge that so fast? That guy must have had like level 7 engines or something. That was insanely fast. Thank god he didn't get out. Still won't be back in a minute. Alright, sir. Golly, that guy almost got out so fast. Uh, hacking my engines. Well, I have to use hack to get through four shields, so... We'll just tap no doges here. And one of these days, I'll explain what I'm doing with the hacking drone to get it by the defensive thing. But there's lots of videos on how to do that, so... I don't know if I'll get into that today. Nice! No weapons for you, sir. No stinking weapons for you. Some people call it cheesing getting hack and drone, hacking by the defensive drone, but with how much BS the enemies can have, I never uh, feel like I'm cheesing. Any game where they are immune after fight's over, but you are not, I don't feel bad about taking any advantages that are in the game, even if they weren't intended. Okay. This guy's weapons aren't super scary, so I can probably do this without using a drone. I just have a combat drone, though. I really want to save drone parts, though. Whew. Wow. One shot of Zoltan's shield with one volley of heavy laser and flak. Awesome. Nice. Five fuel, seven missiles. That was drone parts? Yes. But no. I unbomb my piloting. 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 Ow. Ouch. Get him. No. <laughs> uh, one up. Lethal. They didn't line up my shot perfectly. Damn it. Oh, come on. Stop going back and forth. That's BS. God damn it. Ion in my weapons. That's the second Ion Bomb that's gone on my weapons today. <sighs> Jesus, game. I'm trying to save drone parts here. Might take extra damage for not using drone parts. Oh my god, these dodges, man. There it is. Got him. Jesus, he was dodging like 75% of my flag shots there. Another reason why I don't mind um, cheesing, if you think of that as cheesing, because they can just have ridiculous amount of dodges. Six, seven, eight. I get a lot of jumps here. Um, ooh, and if that's a store. Let's check if that's a store before I spend scrap on... Um, Upgrading, uh, my or hacking and doges. Attempt to hit, follow them? Okay. It's a big giant missile. So, let's use our defense 2 drone here, rather than a hacking drone. SV cheese 1. What? Let's not even talk about 5 shields or 10 weapon power. Exactly. Exactly. Let's not even talk about that. Or let's. We've seen ships with both of those. <laughs> Nice! Ooh! Our entire volley hit that time. I should have shot earlier. It's fine. Four fuel. One drone part? No. Gotta give me more drone parts. Okay, it's not a store. I might still go here just to check if any of those are stores. Because if they're not, then I know our store's up here. Or I missed it down here. Let's check. Five drone parts. Obscure gaming references that you invented. The SV cheese, is that what that is? Okay. Okay. Weapons are not super scary. He's only got two crew. So, repairing stuff for him is going to be a challenge. I need to get my guys back in position. I also need to heal my dudes. That was a mistake that I haven't healed him already. 
Wow, those dodges, though. I right, gotta wait for a full volley since he had three shields and a value point. Nice. Uh, nope. Nice. Drone part. I'll take it. Oh, my O2 burning. My O2 burning. Please don't burn down O2. Good job. Good job, NG. All right, you can go on fire. Thank you. Just trying to avoid. Oh my god. All right, there is a store. Let's check the store. Fix our guy's placement and health and all that. Okay, he's got a defense one drone if I do want to get that. All right, back to your positions. Nobody walked through. Oh, crap. <laughs> my O2 wasn't on, so... <sighs> All right. All right. Now I'll go back to full health at stations. So my value point system can be good to avoid a random hole damage, I guess. Yes. Yes. That and just value points are good for boss fight. I can get cloaking. So I don't get mind control. Means phase three of the boss could be rough, but cloaking is so good against the boss for his overcharge. I want to get it. And I could sell defense two and get defense one. Do I want to do that? I might be okay with defense two. With uh, result and shield. I feel it's a little bit of waste of money to swap out drones right now. FTL's ready to cuck. That's right. Alright, again, I'm gonna repair. Not using drone parts. I'm gonna buy a couple drone parts. I need power. I'm gonna go dodge power. We can back up better the cloaking. One more power would be needed for defense drone. So now it's. I don't really need force shield with defense two drone and cloaking. So. I get a decent number of jumps I go up through the nebula up here. Or I just go one, two, three, four. Now let's go up through the nebula. We want we need to get as much scrap as we can now. So hopefully we'll get a few more ship fights here. More free scrap. Free intruders. Okay. That's a really high level trained human fighter right there, it looks like. All right, we should win with our double mantis to do an extra damage, though. All right, we're good. We are good. Good jab, guys. You just get out of the way so nobody suffocates while trying to heal. All right, you get to heal last, Mr. I suck out all of your life force. Oh boy, free intruders. That's uh, it's not what I was hoping for my birthday. Okay, all right. Deal with the boarding in the final phase is going to suck because I don't have mind control by choice there since I just bought the cloaking. And having multiple Zoltans always makes boarding difficult because Zoltans are one of the worst to deal with boarders when you don't have Clone Bay. So I might want to invest in buying Clone Bay if I get that option. Free CC training. Oh, mind control. Okay. Um, I'm going to hack this guy's piloting. Nice. No more doges and no more missiles. I like it. Nice. Hacking on piling. Super good. 
against, uh, especially against auto scouts. Okay, one, two, three, for sure we can get. If I go one, two, three, four, I bet I can get all those jumps. All right, do I want to buy anything right now? Um, I need power. And then I want to start getting like value points and stuff. Okay, all right. Uh, one more dodge I also want to get. Five dodge plus cloaking I like I like to have. Never surrender our crew slavers. That's a lot of lasers. I don't, you know, I need level three hacking is what I need. That's <laughs> so many lasers. All right, let's do this thing. We're going to go all in on his... What are we going to go in? Of shields. Okay, not bad. Uh, <laughs> you have full crew. You want more crew? No. Double fire in the shield room is great, though. Cloak. I should have used the cloak earlier. Hit his weapons while well, he's got no shields. Get him. Anti ship fire drone. Okay. Um, do I have anybody else trained in, sh in weapons? I think my only other trained person is a Z uh, Zoltan. Because I really would like to have this Mantis Knot in a system. Yeah, it's another Zoltan. Um, you know what? I'm going to do this. This is also going to give us a little bit of cross training. Put you there. It means we're not going to have any shield training. I think we're going to do that. I'd rather... I, I think having all of our guys in separate rooms is going to be more useful against um, the mind control things. Um, but also... Just having us another mantis to help deal with borders is going to be helpful. All right, blue option. That's why we got our piling four sectors ago. <laughs> it's another NG. Okay, it's a fighting NG. Um, you're my pilot, aren't you? Yeah. Well, the only one I'd want to replace is my human. I lose power if I do that. I lose. He, I could put this guy on shields, actually. That might actually be great. If I put him on shields, where to put my extra Zoltan is the question. Well, I don't want to lose any of these other guys, do I? No. So. Sorry, Sam. Sorry. Let me think here. I'm trying to think about distributing my crew different places because having the shield training can be useful later on. I could put him in drone control because we're pretty much going to always have drones online. Problem is moving crew back and forth over here means we go through an O2 of the shields, but also means they won't want to fight in here, I don't think. So I think we'll go with that. I might move them around a little bit more, but that gets training in, in the right places. Uh, you'll go on, that means you'll be on doors, you'll be on sensors. Yeah. What's up, Schwartz user? How are you doing? Keeping a puny human. Well, he's my max train piloting, my, pi my max train pilot. I don't have any other trained pilots, so it's not my first choice. Hey, Max trained um, fighter now. Nice.
<laughs> the main problem with Lanius and ships like this is where do you put them to not drain the health of your other guys when they walk through rooms? <laughs> and my answer now is I put him in shields, but that's just because he's trained in shields, so I don't know. A little bit unsure of my placement for all my guys dealing with borders. You're back, what did you miss? Not much, I moved my crew around a little bit. Alright, I need power is what I need. I need a lot of power, actually. Let's hope we get some free drone parts, some repair stations in the final sector. Attack before we can attack. Giant missile. I'm gonna not use a, I'm gonna use a, just a defensive drone here and not a hacking drone. Nice. No, no, don't hack. Okay, I, I'm gonna. I can't get him. Let him leave here. You die and give me your stuff. All right, we use two drone parts there. Do we get a drone part? We get one drone part back, so that's good. Pro crew movement. Pretty compelling. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see if we can get a uh, repair station or two, because it's going to... I mean, we've. I have this whole repair drone that I haven't used the entire run, but for the boss fight, these are so good. Free 10 hull repair. That's another reason I stay at minus 10 health, because we get the free 10 hull repair. Oh, uh, immediate repair station. So good. All right, I want two power for sure. Then I want a dodge and an extra power. Get the dodge and power first. Two power to put into defense drone to stay online, and then we can back up battery to level three. Hacking, and then anything else will be... Um, uh, gravy, basically. Four shields. All right, everything, everything is going in shields. Wow. Dodge the most important shot, though. Wow, he has not even got through our first Zoltan shield. Wow, these dodges are amazing. That timing was just a little off. <laughs> this guy hasn't hit us once. All right, talk about OP dodges. Holy crap. Give me those drone parts. Store? No store, okay. All right, give me two power. That lets me have defense thrown on and the backup battery hacking. So now our power situation is good. Rest is value points. So let's go cloaking value point first. FTL is nice once in a while. I don't know if FTL is being nice or just finally have a little RNG. A little bit of good RNG. All right, we'll cloak your big laser. Don't need to use a defense drone here. Oh gosh, I hope I didn't do that too late. I might have done that a little late. Nice. Whew. One off lethal. All right. Wow, that guy almost did get through all of our shields. Okay. All right, we're still going to try to get uh, as much scrap as we can. I'm going to leave that repair station. Because if it's up after our first day of the boss, a free repair is always nice. There's no guarantee. All right, value points. I've gotten all value points. Uh, I'd like a weapon value point. Drone control value point wouldn't be bad either. Weapon would be more useful, though. So if we get enough for a weapon value point, that's what we're doing. Three shields. He's got hacking. Um, only three shields. I think I'm going to not hack him. 
Maybe he's a defense drone. Oh, he's got defense drone mark two though. Right, we're gonna cloak the flak two. Hacked my O2, okay. Wow, he is not shooting down any of our uh, flak shots, which is great. Oh, I just shot something down. Cloak. Whew. Only 34 scrap. Come on, game. There's not enough time to get out of the pants of pants of pants of pants. Shut up, game. Learn how to talk. And give me my scrap. I earns it. I earns it. Okay, 44 scrap. Oh, okay. Well, I don't get the uh, repair. Oh, well. So, I'm glad I didn't go for it then. Um, yeah, we'll get one more jump. Any extra scrap is good. Any extra drone parts if we could get. Well, I'm going to have to use a drone part here. Oof. I might actually use two drone parts. I'm going to. Whoops. Turn off auto fire. Too late on that. Uh, I was late on that. Uh, he doesn't have cloaking, though, so hopefully he'll be okay. That is a lot of offense he has. Shoot that missile down. Good job. Okay, uh, I'm going to wait for the hacking. Did we just shoot down his defense drone? Or his offensive drone? I think we did. Nice. Alright, zero damage fight. We did use two drone parts. We got one back. Okay. Worth the 60 whatever scrap we just got. Is that enough for a weapons value point? It is. Cool. Alright, I've gotten pretty much everything I could ask for here. So if we lose, my guess would be because we run out of drone parts or phase three mind control uh, gets out of hand. So we might have... We'll probably have to use the abduction strats hopefully he never gets a hacking drone through although he can't do it until uh result shields gone so that's pretty nice too cloak the missile just because that's what I, the timing wise, what I want to do every time. Nice. Good damage. Engine hack, okay. At least it wasn't weapons. Alright, we're going to wait till our tire volley's up and hope I get a crew kill or two in here. Cloaking for the missile. Wow, he hit us with our whatever amount of dodge we had. Okay, we got a drone part back. That's nice. We only took one damage, phase one. I will take that. Ah, two damage because of the double fired piloting right there at the end. But okay, still not a bad phase one. Have you ever played Artemis Spaceship Bridge Simulator? You'd make a good captain. You think so? I have not played that. I've seen, I did see this one game where it's like a multiplayer game where you, it uses like the um, VR helmet and stuff where you like use your hands to turn dials and stuff as like a Star Trek type simulator or something. Is that what you're talking about? I, I saw some streamers play that, but I've never played it myself. All right, what do we want to do here? Probably drone value point is the best thing. We could get power. But power is not a huge issue. Keeping our defense drone up would be better. All right, seven drone parts. I don't know if I got any crew kill. 
Final phase of the boss is gonna be the biggest challenge. It doesn't use VR, but everyone has their own setup and everyone takes different roles. It's really fun. That sounds cool. I'll have to look at that. Let me look, let me write that down. Artemis Spaceship Bridge Simulator. Artemis Spaceship Bridge Simulator. Artemis is a great game, night with friends kind of game. It works great as a drinking game. <laughs> Amazing. All right. I'm trying to think if I want to set up for the uh, boarding drone. I have double mantis, so I'm not going to open all my rooms, especially because we have Elenius. If he goes in the shield room, that might actually... Uh, that wouldn't be the best, because I wouldn't be able to send my mantis in there without them having a decent chance of suffocating. Okay. Have to save our cloaking. Remember, save our cloaking for the overshield charge phase. I mean, the uh, drone phase. Nice. There he is. Okay, that's fine. There it is. Cloak it. Beautiful. Nice. Uh, we got one crew kill. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay, almost lost crew to the breach in there. I don't know why they didn't repair that breach. I guess the lane, the Zultan, the NG didn't get inside there. Okay. Okay, you get out of the way, sir. Please stop trying to kill the crew as they try to run through that room. They, that was what I was worried about, that room. Running to the heel bay. <laughs> All right, I killed, I think, only one crew, so this is the phase I've been dreading. This is the phase I've been dreading, so we're going to have to deal with the boarding by running away. Abduction strats. Probably not going to use hacking at all, so I think I'm going to just keep my med bay online. Okay. Prepare to make my guys, make their guys, his guys, uh, drown in the vacuum. Okay, this is where it can get scary. Do I, I'm going to wait to use a whole repair drone until after this phase. So I'm not going to have that many drone parts. I need to save two for the final phase. Because I'm going to use one here. Right, this is all about dealing with his borders. Man, where's my 45% dodge game? Seriously. They only set one border. Really? Oh my god. Oh, this is bad. They mind controlled and boarded in the same room. Okay, just board me again. Let me get out. Uh, I hate not having mind control in the final phase. I absolutely hate it. I hate not being able to counter their mind control with my own mind control. Oh, God. Only dealt with three borders, but hopefully that will be enough. All right, you guys go heal. All right, now we we'll use a whole repair drone before this final phase. Sixty-nine. Uh, what's up, Alex? Change his name. <laughs> Do, do, ba, do. Because if he boards in the room that they're mind controlled in, I can't avoid killing my own guy, which is kind of crappy. All right, so that's four, uh, three more, uh, four more drone, three more drone parts after using the defense drone. All right, that drone actually just healed for four. That was really good. 
Okay, here we go. This could still go bad because things can get out of hand so fast when they board you and have mind control. So, here we go. R and Jesus be with us. May the R and Jesus be with us. Can I please hit get through the and shield quickly here? Can't click that. Man, our shots are just not hitting. Or we're not getting any doges. Okay, here comes the boarding. Okay. You get in there. I have no backup battery. Damn it, get out of there. Oh no. This is bad. Do I have any place to jump to? Oh my god. See? This. Oh my god. They took out my backup battery. I don't have any safe place to jump to. Jesus Christ. I don't have cloaking. It's burning. It's not paused. I'm trying to see if I can jump any place safe, but I can't. I might just die right here. I'm in the process of getting my first shot off. And we are... getting wrecked. I don't have cloaking. That was actually some great dodges right there. Get out of there. You get out of there. Damn it. I lost power. Okay, okay. Can't cloak that. Um, might have stabilized. You are dying. Oh, God. My health is good. What scares my crew is I'm almost dead. Holy crap. Holy GG cookie time. That was rough. That right there is why I do not like having... Uh, missing my control in the final phase. Holy crap. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, the trade-off is because I had cloaking. I took much less damage, but... Once you start losing crew, it can snowball really fast. And if you snowball... If you lo snowball losing all your crew, then you just die. So... Because you, you lose your pilot, so you can't dodge anymore. Man, that could have been really close. Okay, well that was a that was a fun. So that's our first educational how to win with the um, Zoltan A, my strategies and tips and tricks, and uh, still pretty rough even with one of the strongest ships in the game. Holy crap! 